Hello everyone and welcome to our presentation. My name is Malte Tölle and I'm a first year PhD student in the Artificial Intelligence and Cardiovascular Medicine group at Heidelberg University Hospital. And my name is Max Lavis from the Institute of Medical Technology and Intelligent Systems at Hamburg University of Technology. During the next 10 to 13 minutes, we present a novel Bayesian approach to inverse post-processing tasks in medical imaging that is robust to overfitting and that provides good predictive uncertainty. Let's start by having a look at inverse problems in general. Inverse problems arise in many medical imaging tasks, such as tomographic reconstruction in CT and MRI, deformable registration, or image post-processing such as denoising, super-resolution or in-painting. In our paper, we focus on the latter and try to enhance medical images of poor quality in a post-processing manner. In general, we try to solve the following problem. Let X be the true high-quality version of an image that is affected by some corruption process C. We can only directly observe the low-quality version X tilde and therefore try to reconstruct a clean image from it. The reconstruction x hat should be close to x tilde by means of some similarity metric L. In order to not overfit the corrupted observation, some regularizing image prior R is usually imposed. The regularizer is of particular importance as it is responsible for the properties of the enhanced image. Deep learning methods have been trained to enhance images using sets of corrupted and uncorrupted image pairs. They implicitly apply regularization using learned image statistics from the uh, data. However, this is not sufficiently robust to input data that is outside of the training domain. In the shown example here from optical coherence tomography, a convolutional network trained with full supervision has embedded a retinal layer into the reconstruction that is anatomically not present. Moreover, it has been shown that state-of-the-art deep learning methods for CT and MRI reconstruction show severe instabilities to tiny perturbations in the input data, which causes the reconstructions to contain considerable artifacts. Even worse, novel pathologies that were not present in the training data can be made to disappear in the reconstruction. This phenomenon is referred to as hallucinations, and in this rather funny example here, the face of a cat has been hallucinated into an MRI reconstruction, which can happen when performing pre-training on non-medical image data. In this work, we tackle hallucinations in inverse post-processing tasks by presenting a novel Bayesian approach to the concept of deep image prior. Deep image prior, or DIP for short, uses randomly initialized CNNs as neural representation of the reconstructed image. It is not affected by hallucinations as there is no supervised learning involved. However, DIP is prone to quickly overfit the low quality image. And we address this by turning it into a Bayesian approach using mean field variational inference. Additionally, we optimize the prior distribution of the CNN weights using Bayesian optimization on a per task level and show that this improves the reconstruction accuracy and provides well calibrated pixel wise uncertainty. Thank you very much, Max. Coming to the Bayesian approach to deep learning. The Bayesian approach differs from the frequentist one in the assumption that we do not only have one optimal solution. The frequentist's solution is obtained by assuming independently and Gaussian distributed data, which results in the mean squared error as loss function in regression. The Bayesian approach, on the other hand, models each weight with a probability distribution by imposing a prior. However, for making predictions with a Bayesian model, we must marginalize out all possible distributions by integrating over the posterior, which is intractable. But we can approximate this intractable posterior with a simpler distribution Q of theta from a tractable family of distribution, for example a Gaussian. This is known as mean field variational inference, where we assume each weight is independent of the other. Actually, VI is about bringing the distributions of approximate and true posterior closer together, which is not solvable by optimization. But we can turn the problem into an optimization one by utilizing the log evidence lower bound, or elbow for short, which can be seen on the bottom of the slide here. 
It consists of a likelihood term, for example the mean squared error from before, and a regularizer, the KL divergence, which minimizes the difference between prior and posterior. A Gaussian prior is essentially equal in this case to the well-known weight decay from the frequentist approach. As our weights follow a distribution, so does our output. The biggest advantage of Bayesian methods is their ability to quantify uncertainty by analyzing the variance of that output, which is especially interesting in medicine. We can capture the full uncertainty by altering our mean squared error from before to learn the aleatoric uncertainty, which is the uncertainty or noise inherent in the data, implicitly from that data. The full predictive uncertainty is then obtained by also taking the variance of the output into account, known as epistemic or model uncertainty. The mean prediction is simply obtained by taking the mean of t predictions. To obtain a well-defined prior in a Bayesian setting, we tune our prior or its variance respectively. For doing that, we use Bayesian optimization, which can, which can be used for hyperparameter selection of any black box function that is expensive to evaluate, because a derivative free surrogate model, for example a Gaussian process, is used. This surrogate model is used in outcome space for choosing the most likely candidate for improving the model outcome. To select the next candidate, an acquisition function is utilized that evaluates mean and variance of the surrogate model, for example upper confidence bound or expected improvement. This educated guess makes BO more efficient than for example grid search. As can be seen on the slide, while grid search only evaluates the function of the, at the predefined points, BO focuses on the most likely region straight away and explores this more explicitly. Coming to the experiments. We evaluated our approach on three different inverse problems in the medical domain, namely denoising, super resolution and in painting. All used images are from publicly available datasets. We compute peak signal to noise ratio and structural similarity index in all tasks. And we compare our results to other approaches in, in the literature, which are the standard deep image prior, deep image prior with Monte Carlo dropout, which is another form of variational inference, and a deep image prior with stochastic gradient Langevin dynamics, which is a technique that uses sampling for approximating the intractable posterior. For the first problem of denoising, we create a low noise image by downsampling. Downsampling involves averaging over highly correlated pixels with uncorrelated noise, which decreases the noise level by the downsampling factor. Then, we simulate the noise inherent in the imaging process with additive Gaussian white noise, which can be used to model most noises. Super resolution just involves downsampling the image of interest by a factor for which we chose 4. In painting is the somewhat most complicated of the three tasks. We must first create our ground truth manually by roughly tra tracing the hairs in the pictures. The resulting mask is used to multiply both input and output of the model with zeros in regions where hairs are present. Coming to the results of the experiments. Before we can look at the results of the actual inverse process, we must take a look at our Bayesian optimization of the prior for all the three tasks. As acquisition function, we used expected improvement where the green area represents the evaluation of that acquisition function and we always choose the maximum for the next candidate. As can be seen, in each task a distinct optimum of the optimization can be found, with denoising and super resolution having their maximum at very narrow priors while the prior for inpainting can be chosen broader. Okay, thanks Malte. On this slide, the results of one example image for each task are shown. In hair in painting, our approach with mean field variational inference creates highly detailed images with no artifacts. In contrast, DIP, SGLD and Monte Carlo dropout overly smooth the image, which can be seen by a loss of skin texture. In super resolution, crisp images can be created with our approach, while other methods overfit the low resolution image which can be seen even better on the next slide. In denoising, again all baseline approaches overfit the noisy patterns, while our approach creates the most visually appealing result. Let's have a look at the quantitative results now. 
This slide shows the peak signal-to-noise ratio between the reconstruction and the clean ground truth image over optimization iterations. We see that only our approach, shown by the red line here, safely converges uh, to its highest value, while all other methods overfit the corrupted image at some point. We do not present the PSNR plots for inpainting here, as all approaches achieve high values in the non-masked regions. For comparison, we rather present the uncertainty as our quality measure in this case. It is uh, desirable that the model outputs high uncertainty in the masked regions and low in the other regions. Further, the uncertainty should be low in regions that are uh, important for the downstream task, for example, classifying the skin lesion. Both aspects are true for our MFEI approach, while the other Bayesian approaches predict high uncertainty in the region of the lesion and low uncertainty in the in-painted areas. And with these impressions, I want to conclude our talk. We presented a new Bayesian approach to deep image prior with mean field variational inference and showed its applicability to medical imaging, uh, medical image post-processing for inverse problems. By utilizing Bayesian techniques, the need for early stopping in deep image prior was made obsolete. We optimized the shape of the prior with Bayesian optimization and increased the performance in terms of peak signal-to-noise ratio and predictive uncertainty, which happens to be well calibrated. The concept of deep image prior does not need supervised training, which makes the occurrence of hallucina hallucinations, as shown in the beginning of the talk, impossible. And in the future, our approach can be used to tune the full KL divergence and not just the prior. The approach can be applied to other inverse problems in the medical domain, such as deformable registration or tomographic reconstruction. Thank you for your attention.